Here is a simple trick that will save you a ton of time with email. I'm Matt, a software developer, and I talk about everything coding, tech, and productivity related. Everyone knows email is a pain, but it's unavoidable in school or work. I'm gonna show you a simple setup that makes working with email a breeze. I use this setup in college, in my job search, at my day job, and in my personal emails. I'm gonna show you how to set it up for Gmail, but this can be adapted for any of the other email providers. Also, if you wanna be more productive, check out my productivity planner. I couldn't find the perfect one that fits my needs, so I built my own. I've been using it the past few months and it's been great for productivity, so I put it up on Amazon so anyone can snag a copy. So if you wanna save more time and be more organized, make sure to click that like button and let's hop right in. So this is the beauty of multiple inboxes. I'm gonna show you exactly how to set this up and why this is so helpful. So as you can see in here, this is my main inbox. Over to the right, I have four other inboxes that all are aligned with a label. If I expand these, you can see all the emails that have been added in here. And the great thing is once I've assigned one of these labels, I can just archive these four. My general workflow is if I get an email in my inbox, I either assign it to a label and get it out of my inbox, or I try to address it right away. These are the four categories that I found to be the most helpful. You can honestly customize this however you want. This is just what works for me. The first category is needs, action, or reply. This is if I have a task to do or if I need to reply to an email. Generally, I'll take care of it right away, but if I need to put it off for the future, I'll just assign this label. Next is a waiting reply. This is if I'm waiting for a response from someone or if I'm blocked on a task that I need information from someone else on. The third is scheduled tasks. This is something that I've explicitly put into my calendar that I need to do at a certain time, or it can be something like a doctor's appointment or a meeting. Lastly is delegated. This is generally if I've assigned some kind of task to someone else. For example, if I'm in a team project and we have a bunch of different tasks to do, if I've got an email about summarizing an article, I might tell one of my other team members to do that. So I'm gonna show you how to set this up. The first thing you wanna do is go up into settings, then see all settings. Over here, you wanna click inbox and you're gonna choose inbox type multiple inboxes. Under multiple inbox sections, you're gonna add label colon and then whatever your label name is. This needs to match up exactly to the label that you do create. Over here is section name. It's optional and it doesn't need to match the label, but I've matched them exactly. Now, if we scroll down, I put the maximum page size at 20 and I move the inboxes to the right of the inbox. You can customize this however you like. After that, we're gonna go up to labels and then scroll down. You're gonna to wanna to click create new label. Here you can put something like needs action or reply and then you wanna click create. Once this is done on these four different labels or however many you chose, you want to click show on all of them. They will pop up over here on the left. And that's pretty much it. Now I try to keep my inbox as clean as possible. This allows me to get to inbox zero, which honestly just saves so much mental space. And now we're done, that was pretty simple. So if you want to assign a label, you want to click the email, go up here, and then choose something like awaiting reply. I have a bunch of other labels in here, but these are the ones you need to focus on. Once you've added the label, it's going to show up right here, and I can click archive to get it out of my inbox. So my main inbox is now clean, and the email is over in my multiple inbox section. My goal at the end of every day is to get down to inbox zero and to do whatever it takes. If you found this helpful, please consider subscribing. This setup with email has saved me a ton of time, mostly with organization. And if you like tech coding and productivity, make sure to hop into our Discord. If you need any tech help, we have a whole team of helpers and the Discord is completely free. Also, I respond to all DMs on TikTok and Instagram, so make sure to hop over there and DM me with any questions. See you next time.